So y'all know when the colored tags change at the local thrift, I'm going to be there. And especially when that color tag changes on a Thursday, which means red tags, instead of being a dollar, were 50 cents off. So I have a whirlwind haul here. I do not remember what is in the bag at all, except for one thing that called to me and Pam will not be surprised at all. Mm. But it is, uh, yeah, get ready for a thrift. I'm going to take these off because they're just a little glary. They're shiny. I love them though. Look at how cute they are. I have no bridge on my nose, so everything ends up down here. That's just a thing. Anyway, I'm Amy, the Rainy Day Shopper. If you are new here, thank you for joining me. We have some awesome new subscribers. And if you are a new subscriber, but I haven't said hello to you, make sure you drop your name and say hi down in the comments. If you are a Poshmark seller or reseller, put your closet name down there so that I can get over there and give you a follow. Check out your closet. I do want to be doing some shopping from followers' closets, but some of y'all have not told me your closets, so that's a problem. In any case, we're just gonna jump right into this haul. This was from the first and literally it was a whirlwind. I had about a half an hour to run into the store after work. Uh, it was Thursday, so that was the first of the month, which means that's when the color tags change mm, and everything in the store is half off. So I have not been to a half off day since COVID started. I've been going on the day when only shirts are half off and just buying everything else half, full price if necessary. I mean, none of it's necessary, except I do need inventory because I'm a reseller. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Or just a thrift addict. One or the other. In any case, I'm going to put these down here. And we're going to jump into this haul. Like I said, I do not remember what was in here because my work schedule is different now. So instead of getting off when I used to get off at 11.15, I am like working in the middle of the day because it just works out better for the kiddos, which is awesome. And they're doing the best that they possibly can online. So, so am I. Uh -huh Ish. Anyway. I went straight for sweaters, women's blazers, coats, dresses. I checked out shoes. I don't think I grabbed any shoes. And then there are a few other random odds and ends. I skipped pants totally. I skipped most men's totally just because there was not time before the store closed. So here we go. Let's jump right on in. This I got, it is no tags, except it is made in Mexico. It is vintage and it is this super cute cute little zip front denim jacket. It has the RN, so I should be able to look it up that way. Um, but I basically got it on style and on the fact that it was incredibly reasonably priced. Look how cute that is. I need, I think I need you to scoot back just a little more. Hold on. It's harder to show you the tags, but then it's easier for you to see the whole garment. Yeah, that's a little better. There we go. All right, so I grabbed that. This is just a Kenneth to Petite. It is not something I would normally pick up, but given the price, it is also something that I will donate to the homeless up in Portland if it does not sell. So this is not one I picked up specifically to donate because it's a little lightweight for now, but it'll be great in the spring if it's still in my closet. So there we go. Oh my gosh, you know I had to get this because it was super cute. This is just a Dress Barn size 2X. Dress Barn Women's uh, Plus Size has sold really well for me and it's a super cute little red blazer. How adorable would this be with like a black and white polka dotted skirt in spring? Sassy. Uh, so I picked this up. If I don't, I'm not going to keep it. You know, someone else will love it because um, I have to try it on. It's so cute. I tell you I'm not wearing jackets, and then here we go. I want to keep this one. It's short sleeve, though. I can wash this. Yes, and tumble dry. <gasps> Love it. All right. Ooh, by the way, Diana claimed the jacket is just a Valerie Stevens 1X, and it is this really cool black shimmery cardigan with some bugle bead trim. Oops, hold on. There we go. Trim around the edge. It's just a fabulous, lightweight, sassy cardigan. Cardigan. I can talk. A cardigan. It's about almost 11, and I was super excited. I, I got to spend some time with my pug for the first time all week. Just work has been weird schedule. And anyway, uh, can you be washed? Dry clean. Dry clean pile. Which, notice, is lower, and there are different things on top. I have been getting some work done. By the way, I hope you grab some snacks, some tea. This is only one bag full, but it is stuffed. So, and like I said, I don't know what's in here. This is a an Eddie Bauer. It is a 2XL. And how perfect is that for fall? 
So just a nice crisp shirt with fall toned kind of abstract floral leaves. And again, the price could not be beat. So had to pick it up and now I need to get it listed. This is uh, definitely, this is vintage. It's Briggs. It is made in Canada. This is not, I haven't actually seen a Briggs made in Canada, but it is just a super cute. How fun is that going to be under a blazer in spring? It is a 2X, which is one of the reasons I picked it up. And just because it is the vintage Briggs, I will probably not pick up, like Alfred Dunner, I'm not going to pick up their modern stuff, but the vintage stuff sells better for me than free people. So there you go. Um, and I might want to try that on just because it's really pretty. So, okay. This I had to grab because look at it. it. Look at the colors. Okay, I don't know what this is. Let me find the right spot. This is a Believe size 12. And it is this interesting flutter sleeve kind of drop waist dress. But look at the colors on this. How gorgeous is that for fall, even with the short sleeves? But it's got this fun drop waist with a little bow. It is sheer. It's midi length. So it's got this just a hint of the 20s. But I don't know. I just love the colors. Had to pick it up. And again, for the price, could not go wrong. And I can tumble dry it low. I love that. So it's not like a super high end brand. I imagine probably 25 bucks if I'm lucky, but more probably 20. Who knows, the color may sell it. Again, this is something I totally picked up for style. It's a Target brand. Um, it is a size small, who, what, where. I'm sure you've seen it, but let me button these. I got it simply because of the aesthetic. And so the cottage core is heading into a Victorian winter uh, with high waist, I mean high waist, high collars, ruffles, things like that. Those little puff sleeve details all of the cuteness. So this has all of the cuteness, despite the fact it's a Target brand. I can imagine, depending on comps, um, that it will be around 20 to 25. But I had to pick it up simply because look at that gorgeous neckline. It does have the sleeves down to the smock, uh, smocking on the sleeves around the wrist, which is so comfy. So it's kind of a baby doll style, but it just has these lovely Victorian kind of vibes. It does have an attached slip inside, which is lovely for something so sheer, but someone could pull that out and wear it in a different way over leggings or whatever. Anyway, I had to pick that up basically totally on style and you should be able to be washed because you are that a brand. This brand, this jacket I've been looking at for a while, which means I probably should buy it. it has a big giant R on it. Uh, you know, which I don't know what that means. <laughs> and it's really hard to read the label. It has the drawstring waist, which is still on trend. It has these fun little studded details here. I love the color. So it's kind of a plum, like dusty raspberry. I mean, it's almost a true mauve because mauve is not pink. Mauve is really more of a purple people. Um, oh, people say mauve and it's always wrong. This is not really mauve. Like I said, it's more of a dusty dusty lavender not really lavender um I don't know now I'm thinking too hard and like I said it's late but I just really wanted to get this haul filmed so I could put up anyway the style of this I grabbed it simply for that and again because of the price uh oh and just in case oh sorry my nose itches that's awkward I did go to a, a estate sale clearing out of a thrift store today I wanted to try and go before school started because it opened at nine but there was no way I could like there was no way I would have gotten there at nine and shopped and been back at 1030 just because it was about a half an hour away. So I, I had to wait until after school. <laughs> um, but they were clearing out a thrift store and the they were super sweet. My uncle went with me. He got some stuff and then she asked if I sold on Poshmark. So I told her about my channel. So if you're watching and you're from that uh, sale, you are so awesome. That was such a fun sale. Thank you so much. And if you're here, hi. Say hi down in the comments so I can say hi back because of course my memory is terrible and I don't remember her name but she I we did exchange like I sent her a text with my channel name so that she could ask any questions about getting started on posh or whatever and she said she had really cool vintage stuff so if she doesn't happen to want to list them I totally would love to look at those this coat is so fabulous it does not have a size tag but look at that 
for fall. Isn't that gorgeous? I feel like it's a plus size. It's a cold water creek. I feel like it would fit me. Oh my gosh, the nose. I don't know why my nose always itches when I look at thrift. Hold on, I think this will fit me. Let me, uh, maybe a little tighten the shoulders. No, that's just, yeah, it's gonna be, it'll like, it's open, so it doesn't need to clasp here. So let's see, hold on. Ooh, hi. That's pretty cute, hi. Let's just have a close up of my bust area because that's awkward. I definitely need better angles for filming. Anyway, it's gorgeous. It's Coldwater Creek. It's probably a 16, not an 18. But I don't think it looked bad on me. Let's see. Dry clean only, okay. That goes in that pile for the steaming, steaming. Anyway, so it was super fun to go to that sale. And I may film a haul for that one, I'm not sure. This is a petite, small Coldwater Creek. But again, it's a lovely tapestry fabric, zip front with some like faux velvety trim. Just a really cute fall jacket. How cute would that be with jeans? A cute little pair of, like there's an olive in here or black pants. So just a fun little fall look. Could not pass that up. Are you? Yes, dry clean only, as I suspected. Hmm. All right. This is just a loft. It's a size large. It is corduroy. And this is a kind of dusty salmon color. Oh, look at that. And it's just a really lightweight, super cute little jacket. But how fun to layer. Again, a great pumpkin patch. Like those two jackets would be beautiful in a pumpkin patch photo shoot. I don't know if people are doing those this fall. I don't know. I'm not going anywhere to do anything except thrifting. That's my one, that's my one risky endeavor. So fully masked and all that, but look at how cute that is. Super cute. Tumble dry. I love it. All right. What else? I got a lot of jackets. This is a lovely size medium. It is in notations, which I wouldn't normally pick up, but again, for the price, I will. I, this is something that if it doesn't sell, but it's such a gorgeous color and it's like an ultra suede. So it's really pretty. It's princess seeming. It has what? Three buttons. Yes. Just a really classic style. I could probably get away with calling it a schoolboy because of these button details in the back with the like semi belt. Uh, just a really, really cute jacket. And for 50 cents, I'm not going to pass it up line dry there we go in the washi pile this is fun all right like i said i hope you brought some snacks because i forgot to say so at the beginning but you might want some it's it's not a super full bag but it's a big bag i mean it's not a there's only one bag but it's really full and it's big because it's ikea bag all right this is a size six it is a zip front cold water creek uh, just a really cute princess seamed uh, with the zipper pockets in the front, the silver zipper, zipper detail, I can talk. It is a little bit of a chunkier weave. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to. So it's just really cute. Had to pick it up again. Do, do, do. Dry clean, of course. All right. Now, I did purchase some things that were not half, I mean, everything was half price, but that were not like super cheap half price. This was fab. This is a gorgeous color. It's just polyester. It's INC, so it's Macy's, but I had to pick it up again. It is just a hook and eye closure on the front, but look at that color. How gorgeous is that? How cute is that little bla blazer with the mom jeans, with the whatever, with a cute little turtleneck under it? Let's see. And I can tumble dry it. I love it even more now. All right, what are you? You are vintage, made in the USA, size 14. I believe you are a linen or a linen blend. Just a lightweight oatmeal, size 14. Single button, boyfriend style blazer. This is, let's see. Where's the tag that tells me what you are, you sweet thing you? Aha, I have found the tag, don't worry. It is poly rayon linen. 
So it's 15% linen. Technically, if it's 5% something, you can say it's like a linen blend. So I can say this is a linen blend, but it's basically polyester rayon. Uh, but I can tumble dry it low, so I love it anyway. This is gorgeousness. Ooh, faux fur is on trend again, and I did pay up for this, so I may be dumb, but it is this gorgeous vest. Vests are on trend. Sweater vests especially. Um, that's just a thing. But then it reverses to this lovely tan on the inside, and you are, it's a weatherproof size large. And I don't think it's vintage or anything interesting like that. Can I wash you? I should be able to wash you. I can, and I can tumble dry you low. Anyway, so it's just this fab faux fur. It's super soft. It's gorgeous. And like I said, the faux furs are on trend for the fall. So if you care about the trends, like you know I don't really care, but I just like to tell you these things in case you care. Ooh, this is so cool. So I don't care about trends, I care about vintage. And this is Vintage. And it is, I don't know what is going on with it. It is this kids, it's like a little prayer scarf for a head covering. I don't know, look at that beautiful. It's vintage for sure. I think, oh, I have it upside down, that's why. There we go. There, it's even better that way. Uh, so it's lace trimmed all the way around. It's a headband to go. I probably would fit an adult too. I feel like, I don't know if they just made it extra long. I don't know why, like there's this dangly piece and maybe it just ruches up kind of and gathers a little and then it's fine. It probably just gathers a little to give it a little more zhuzh. There, I gathered it and there's a little zhuzh now. Uh, anyway, I had to pick that up. I have no idea what I'm going to list this at. I'll have to do some research. I have no idea what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's like for church to wear so you have your head covered so you're respectful and all those things. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. This was another one that I did not get on the sale. This is Ceiling Zero by Blower. Boston, Massachusetts. This is a two final customized garment, size 44L. So it has this like faux fur collar that zips off. It has a zip out quilted lining. I can't, I can't, it's very heavy. So it's like a policeman's jacket. I think this one's brown, no it's black or brown. Is that brown? I think that's brown. Anyway, the lighting here is, you know, suspect. Anyway, this is heavy as all heck. I'm going to have to put a note in my listing that it can only be purchased on its own. It does have, hold on, a gigantic metal zipper. And it does have the zip out quilted lining. Which I don't want to catch anything here. So it has all of the cool interior stuff. And then it zips out. Let's see, are there any fun things inside there? I don't know, it's just fab. So I did pay probably way too much for this. Oh no, only like $10, okay. probably way too much, but I don't know. I'll see what happens with it. It's cool, I couldn't pass it up. You know I love the vintage and that's a fabulous coat. Someone will love it. Tell me someone will love it. Just like someone will love this Cabela's, this is a wool polyester vintage size large Cabela's. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. This is a sweater. It's like a double knit sweater with lining, uh, all the things. It's got the patches. So it's definitely a sportsman kind of thing. It is a vintage one, but not um, like the best vintage. It's a cute little buttons on the front. Can I wash you? I can and I can lay you flat to dry. So that's just really cool. I didn't notice any holes in it, but then I say that. And of course, after I wash it, a hole appears somewhere. Just happens. All right, what are we? We are a super cute vest, which you know I had to buy because it's a vest. It's vintage, catch me with a K. It is this color block suede. So it's the green and the black snap front. It is 
just fabulous. And again, as much as I say vests are on trend, please do not go out and buy a ton of vests. They are slow to sell. I sell them, um, but they're not something that are going to turn around like tomorrow. So this is a large. It's super cool. Had to pick it up because I'm me. You or you, please do not buy a vest unless you really love looking at vests because they will sit around for a minute. All right. Ooh. I totally stealthily scratched my nose while I was picking this up. I should probably edit out all the things, but that's a lot of editing. This is a vintage house coat. It's a 1X and it is just a snap front little house dress. I have sold a number of these and this one's even pearl snap. Um, and I've sold them with, you know, a little staining. This is like thin, like sheet material. It's just kind of fab. And you know, we're all lounging, we're all doing the things, and this is a vintage plus size house dress, so I love that even more. Badoo! All right, this I had to get because it is super cool and great for the fall. It's a Susan Suzanne Betro 1X. Isn't that a QVC brand, I believe? But it is a super long plaid shirt, and I had to grab it because it's a super long plaid shirt. It's not really flannel, but it is very soft. Is that a shirt, like dress? It might be a dress. Cause there's this, this thing going on back here. I don't know what this is. So, but it's long enough that even if it's not a dress, it would look super cute over leggings. You know that I'm gonna have to try it on because it, look at that color. It's a good color for me. I don't keep all the things. I want to keep all the things, but then I can't sell all the things. So just let a girl dream. Just a little. All right, we are getting towards the middle end of this bag and we are buying things that I don't know why I'm buying, but I am because they were half price and literally I've not been to the full half price day since February. And I did manage to get out without buying any, any tchotchkes. Though there were some I really wanted to. I just didn't even look. That was hard, let me tell you. So this is an Adriana Papel size two. It is this gorgeous, like midnight blue beaded waist dress. Just a lovely little sheath dress. Again, sheath nips in at the waist, shift goes straight down. I always confuse that. I mean, I didn't really confuse those two. I just called the dresses that. I was like, sheath, sheath, shift, whatever. It doesn't matter. Apparently it matters. Let's see, are you silk? Dry clean inside out. No, you're Rayan Polly. All right, you go in the dry cleaning pile. Oh, this. Okay, I bought this for me because I just really like the colors. I don't buy LuLaRoe to sell and I've never bought LuLaRoe to wear really. I've got a couple things to that I've kept from purchasing them. Um, but I just really like the colors on this and I thought it'd be super fun like with this sweater. I can even wear it with this little sweater because there's a darker color in it. So I just thought it'd be super fun and I don't have like a lot of, I don't know, I need to revamp my whole wardrobe, which means I'll probably sell this eventually or try to, but cause it's LuLaRoe, it's not gonna do much. Anyway, it's really cute. Just a fun little skirt. Thought it'd be good if I ever took pictures outside in the fall, it'd be cute for a fall picture wearing something like this. Like that's gonna happen. All right, this I have been looking at for about three months. There are a couple of things I almost asked. So there, it's my local thrift. We're very well acquainted. I've been shopping there for years and I used to, before I resold, I used to buy a ton of stuff there for the homeless and for friends and stuff just because their half price stuff is whew, too sweet. So good. Anyway, this has been there. This is just an Erica size medium. It's a vintage, but it has been there for like three months, I would say. And I have never wanted to buy it for full price, but since it was a half price day, I went ahead and do it and did it. It's a white tag and those never go, like they never drop down to a dollar. But it's this set and it's just really cute. It's got this embroidery on the bottom of a zip up jacket. So floral, it's very vintage 90s, but then it's got this super cute jumper with it. And so, 
for Rachel, who's across the pond. Uh, this is a jumper dress, not a sweater. I know that jumpers are sweaters over there and sweaters are jumpers. Anyway, sweaters are, our sweaters are your jumpers, but this is like a little jumper dress. It has these cool buttons up the side. Are they functioning? Which they are functioning. So you could make that, I mean, it goes all the way up to the waist. You could make that super va va voom for this. Granny chic va va voom. So it does have a little of that embroidery detail there and on the hem of the skirt. So it's a set, I grabbed it. It'll probably sit in my closet for a long time and someone will buy it eventually and love it. It's not something I would recommend going out and picking up. But like I said, it's I've been eyeballing it. There are some other dresses there. There's a Hannah Anderson. It's a plain navy, but it's a long one. They have it marked at like $25 and even a, on half price day, I'm not gonna buy it. It's been sitting there for six months. So next time I go in, there are a few dresses I might ask them like, hey, this has been here for a long time. Do you wanna offload it? They may say yes. We'll see, can't hurt to ask. Uh, but that is because I do have a really good relationship with them. So there we go. This I think is homemade. And how could I say no to this? Just a little elastic waist. It has the tears. Tears and ruffles are super in. I wanna say, do I see any sign of a tag? I'll flip it inside out is the easiest way to look for a tag. I should know that, I should do that. But I didn't do that. I just said, I think it is. Just because of the surging. Um, oh, yeah, I lied. I found a tag, you see that? It is next, Mania. It's a US 16, and I'm wondering if it's a kid's 16. Ooh, it's vintage. That's cool. Made in Hong Kong. I could not say no. I feel like that, it's probably an adult 16. Yeah, huh, super cute. Oh my gosh, look at that. With one of those little jean jackets over there. That's a look. All right. This also had to grab, I've been eyeballing it for a minute. If I waited another little bit, it would be on a dollar, but that's okay. It's a soft surrounding size six. And again, oh, skirts are never on the half price or haven't been. They will be now on the Monday days, which I'm super excited about. But it is this wrap, gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful rayon skirt with the embellished waistband. It has a snap closure and you can adjust the snaps. So there are two and then it snaps again here. So it's actually, it's a faux wrap. Oh, fun. All right, but you can then make it tighter if you want and, or looser, I love that. That's just really cute. Had to grab it because that's how I roll. Are you washable? I hope you're washable, it's rayon. All right, I will look for tags later, so I'm gonna put it in the probably not washable pile. This, oh my gosh, the gorgeousness of this, you will just die. This is a Field Manor, 100% silk, size four. I don't know the brand and I didn't look it up because I didn't care. Look at the gorgeousness of this, this silk. It is a jacket, so kind of a Nehru collar. Are we still calling this a narrow collar, just a banded collar? Um, button down, it is a thick silk. The pockets are still stitched shut. So before it was in the bag under everything else, it was super not, like it did not look like it was worn. It's beautiful silk, gorgeous, had to grab it. And again, that color, whew, so good for fall, you know. This was also something I almost didn't pick up. It's a Corette and Corette is a good classic brand. It's an eight petite. But with the whole kind of Victorian style moving into winter, I just thought the buttons and the tapestry could be super cute if styled properly, or it could be super granny if not styled properly. And either way, I'm here for it. So I'm okay with that. Uh, what do you think? Would you have picked this one up? Look at the fabric. I just love the colors. They're so like all the tones of fall, but muted. Love. Also love this, which is just a Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a size 10, but it's 100% silk. So I grabbed it again for the fall vibes. It's very 90s, but it's got the kind of 
tan with a hint of mustardy and the floral paisley again paisley isn't super back but we can make the argument that it's it's knocking on the door of being acceptable and who really cares because it's pretty and it's fall again beautiful to twirl around in in a field of poppies or wherever well i guess pumpkins because the poppies are all dead now so are most of the sunflowers we are past that moment this little skirt hello so cute this is a i believe j crew if i remember and it is linen yeah j crew size 400 percent linen i believe it is vintage it is not j crew factory it has kind of this faux paper bag waist it is a zip back with no stretch just a really cute skirt and i think i can wash that beautiful color and we are getting down to our last two things so here we go i have been looking at this coat for a while and I probably should have just kept looking at it. It's an eight petite. It's a cold water creek. I don't know why I've been picking up petite lately. Just because I don't care. I wear petite stuff. Like, I do. I can. Anyway, it's this tweed jacket. But it has this really fun beading. Beading sequins are very in. And I love these chunky zippered pockets. I just thought they were super cool. And it's a really fun fall jacket. It does have the princess seeming. I might even call this like a writing jacket just because of the shape and the length. Um, put that in my description just for fun. And of course, you know, I was standing there getting ready to check out and I hadn't looked at the kids section <clears throat> because I hadn't, but I had the thought that I needed to look at the kids section for something vintage. And indeed this dress was calling me. So I ran over and i found this and i'm so glad i did because will you look at the absolute gorgeousness of this little dress okay who has a baby girl who needs this someone has to anyway it's got the eyelet lace trim it is a full skirt this is super cottage core is that a stain no it's just a fabric it's got a sheen a little bit it is handmade i believe now watch i say that and then i find a tag but no this one you can see it's handmade. It is, I believe, vintage, but probably 70s or 80s vintage. Not earlier than that, just because it does have the vinyl zipper. And those started to be used in the 70s, but really were more in fashion in the 80s. Um, let me zip it up just so you can get the full effect of the gorgeousness of the puff sleeves. Okay, look at the little baby girl puff sleeves. They're so cute. All right, if you are still here with me and... <laughs> Um, yeah, no one's shocked that I bought the, the vintage, but look, it's cottage core for kiddos. So pretty. All right. We did it. We made it through. My bag is empty, which is good because I am going to a yard sale in the morning, even though I shouldn't, but I'm going to, uh, one of the, oh, so my nose, that is so awkward. Anyway, one of the local ladies, she's like five minutes away who has sales regularly for charity drove by on the way to the sale I went to today with Uncle Phil and she had a sale sign up. So I was gonna try and stop there on the way back today but the traffic was too long so we didn't get there. I mean, not traffic long, but just distance, di driving here, back. anyway, you get the idea. So tomorrow I'm gonna go to her sale and I'm going to try and avoid all of the other yard sale signs out there because they're literally probably 30 or 40. We're in the 80s right now in Oregon in October. So I'm just going to say thank you so much for joining me at my local thrift haul haul video. My local thrift haul video. You get the idea. In any case, I hope everything's going well with you. You're out there making the world a better place because you are you and awesome. And you're taking care of yourself in all these crazy times. So yeah, wear a mask and uh, stay safe. Love you lots. Bye.